The desert is a spiritually transforming experience for many people. My experience there was practical as well. Hello, I'm Irene Imfeld in my studio in Oakland. I was an artist in residence in Joshua Tree in 2015, where I made a series of abstracted photographs called The Zone of Transformation. Although I had photographed nature for years, I had done the first of my abstracted work less than a year before that. With plenty of time to concentrate on it without distraction at the residency, I really did transform my way of working. Having seven weeks to work was one of the best things about it. It gave me time to go back and re-photograph a subject informed by already working with it. And it also gave me time to thoroughly assess what I was doing, edit the images, and write about it in a cohesive way. Here are a few of the 50 images in the series. During the residency, my days began early with finding and photographing a subject. Often, I drove into the National Park, but sometimes I found it right outside my door. Then, I spent the hottest part of the day indoors, working in Photoshop and making test prints. My process is not preconceived. It works directly from the imagery itself. It is beyond recording information. It is ambiguous and complex, sometimes chaotic, like the world of nature. Each image begins as a straight photograph. Here are a few examples of an original raw photo, followed by the final image. In this series, I look for relatively flat subjects, anticipating the final print on a flat piece of paper. I'm not trying to replicate the scene as in a typical photo, but find something to use for abstract composition. Usual photographic values do not apply here. I don't care about accurate color or depth of focus or perspective. No need to make sense of it. Once the composition is framed in camera, I only need enough contrast to be able to pick out individual tones. I retain the forms and line of the original and adjust the tonal values and colors until it reaches the aesthetically pleasing arrangement that I'm looking for. After capturing, processing, and making the final prints, I made two books of this series. One is a hardbound limited edition. This was printed in 2017. And the other is an inexpensive paperback. And that's the end of my journey in the zone of transformation, nature in the high desert. I'll show one more project here, which was done the year after the Joshua Tree work. But it's not about a place. It's called Strangeness of Seeing. It's presented as a set of two handmade books. It's about the detail we see if we stop to look. And I made the prints big to make it visible. I used the same techniques as the zone of transformation, but I kept a more ordinary orientation, so it's less abstract in form, inviting the viewer into the details. This is called a drum leaf binding, which allows the full image to be shown over the entire book spread. It gives you an unusually large page. This is one print. There's no gap in the middle. The prints are glued together on the exposed spine. I have a number of other handmade books, which you can see on my website, irenemfeld.com.